hello hello friends welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new here kindly subscribe to join this family in this tutorial we are going to learn how to crochet this beautiful stitch it looks the same on either sides this is a pom pom stitch and this is what we are going to crochet today to begin you are going to make a slip knot this is how i make a slip knot after making a slip knot adjust this loop so that it fits the size of your crochet hook then you are going to chain a multiple of four then add one chain a multiple of four is any number that is divisible by four for example four eight twelve sixteen then add one chain to begin row one skip one two three into the fourth chain yarn over make one double crochet this is how to make a double crochet then chain two and make another double crochet in the same stitch that way and this is what we call a v stitch again skip one two three chains into the fourth chain make the v stitch you make one double crochet chain two make another double crochet in the same stitch that way again skip one two three chains into the fourth chain make the v stitch whereby you make one double crochet chain two and make another double crochet in the same stitch and repeat making these v stitches until the end of the row at the end here i have one stitch or chain left i will make one double crochet to finish this row row one is done this is how it looks to begin row two you are wrong to chain three so chain one two three and turn to this very first v stitch this first v stitch yarn over go through draw up a loop once yarn over go through draw up a loop twice yarn over go through draw up a loop thrice yarn over go through draw up a loop four times yarn over go through draw up a loop the fifth time then yarn over pull through all the loops chain three go to the next chain space which is before the v stitch and make a single crochet after that chain two go into the v stitch and make a puff so you yarn over once go through draw up a loop yarn over twice go through draw up a loop yarn over go through draw up a loop three yarn over go through draw up a loop four yarn over go through draw up a loop five after five times yarn over and pull through all chain three and make a single crochet into the next 
chain space which is before the V stitch chain 2 yarn over and make a puff in the next V stitch so you go through draw up a loop once yarn over go through second yarn over third time yarn over fourth time yarn over fifth time then you yarn over pull through all the loops you have chain three make a single crochet in the next chain space which is before the v stitch and you are going to repeat the way we have been doing making puffs into each v stitch at the end here after making this puff i'll chain three and make one double crochet at the top of this chain at the end to finish this row so row two is done and this is how it looks to begin the next row chain one two and three turn your work now we are going to make v stitches at the top of these puffs so beginning with this first puff at the top make one double crochet you chain two and make another double crochet in the same place so we have made a v stitch here just the way we were working on row one then yarn over go to the next puff at the top make another v stitch you make a double crochet chain two and make another double crochet in the same place again yarn over go at the top of the next puff and make a v stitch whereby you make one double crochet you chain two and make another double crochet in the same place and repeat making the v stitches until the end at the end we are going to make one double crochet at the top of the chain at the end to finish this row so this is a two row repeat pattern the next row after making the v stitches across you make these puffs then after making puffs the next row you make the v stitches at the top of the puffs so continue working that way until you have the length that you want this is a two row repeat pattern thank you for watching i hope this was helpful if it was kindly leave a comment share subscribe then i'll see you in the next tutorial